And here is the finished product. There you have it, some egg stuffed beef sausage. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of Carnivore Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some egg stuffed sausage. But before I start, you guys know the drill. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, ding, ding, ding. And if you don't wanna watch the entire video, I will be including timestamps in the description so you can skip ahead to the step that you need. Now, before we get to the actual recipe, what exactly are we going to need? Well, first thing we are going to need is a pan with a lid. I'm gonna be using a ceramic skillet. You can use whichever one you want. Next, we are also going to need an egg to put inside of the sausage. I'm gonna be using some grass-fed beef sausages. You could use whatever type of sausage you want. You're also going to need a knife to cut the sausage, some tongs to flip it over when it's ready, a fork to split the egg, and we are also going to need some MCT oil to spray the pan. If you don't want to use MCT oil, you could also use butter or ghee, and some grated cheese. I'm going to be using Pecorino Romano. Use whatever type of grated cheese you like. And also, we are going to need some Himalayan sea salt. Now that we know everything that we need, what exactly do we need to do? Well, first step is going to be to preheat the skillet. I'm going to put it on low heat. And the reason that I like to preheat it first is that way when I pour the egg into the sausage, it's not gonna go spill all over the place. It's gonna be able to get nice and cooked right in the middle. Next step, we are going to go ahead and crack our egg. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take the beef sausage and we wanna cut a slice right down the middle of the beef sausage. Now that we have our beef sausage cut, this is what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna go ahead and spread it open and pour the egg inside. But first, what we wanna do is go ahead take our MCT oil and we want to spray the pan, that way nothing sticks once we cook it. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our beef sausage, we are going to spread it open so that we could create a nice little crevice to put the egg in. And before we actually put the egg in, what we wanna do is hold it in that position, that way it does not leak when we put the egg in. So let's just go ahead, pour it in there, and we're just gonna leave it there until it starts to cook a little bit. Once it starts to cook, we are going to go ahead and place the lid on top of the pan. All right, so let's just go ahead. We're gonna cover that up. We're gonna leave it for about four to five minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and flip that over. But I'll see you again in a couple minutes. It's been about six to seven minutes. So next thing we are going to go ahead and take the lid off and we're gonna go ahead and flip this over. And just to make sure that nothing ends up leaking out, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use a spatula to cover it up. Perfect. Now let's go ahead, cover that up and we're gonna leave it for another about five to seven minutes. Once it's done, we're gonna go ahead and see how it came out. It's been about five minutes, so next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take the lid off, turn the skillet off, and we're just gonna top it off with a little bit of Pecorino Romano cheese and some Himalayan sea salt. Again, you could use whatever cheese you guys like. This is just the one that I prefer. And now we're just gonna cover it up for about another minute and let the cheese melt on there. And now that it's been about a minute, we're gonna go ahead and take this off, put it on our plate, and go ahead and try it out. And here is the finished product. There you have it, some egg stuffed beef sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys today, that way I can go ahead and eat this, because this looks absolutely delicious, but that's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to make more recipe videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you again tomorrow.